I'm Maddie Kuhn and I'm Will Frazier and we are the reporters for the Southern Ohio Copperheads and we're here to just take a look at the recap of what happened this past week. Their season started on Wednesday, a little bit late because of Ohio University's academic schedule, but they played seven games in five days. Uh, just so many games in so many days. I mean, they've looked really impressive out here so far this season. Yeah, they've certainly given the fans something to cheer about. I don't, I don't know what it is about these guys, but especially in the sixth inning, they always they always seem to get together around the sixth inning. That's one of the things that Co Coach Florek has been talking about with this team. Is they got great character, great chemistry. Um, they've really come, been able to come out and just come and play late in the innings here. So it's something that I've really, really been impressed, impressed with so far this season. What is it about this offense that makes it so dynamic? I mean, it just seems like these guys, I mean, all of them are so versatile. Guys like Ryan Jones, he's got the Cobreds' only home run on the year. And he's leading the, leading the team in stolen bases. He's eight for nine on the base path. He's an absolute monster on the base path. He was actually Big Ten freshman of the year this year. He was a freshman All-American out of Michigan State. He's actually uh, batting 556 for us, number one in, the, on, in all the Great Lakes League. So he's, uh, he's really done well for us so far. Yeah, he's, he's just one of those people who doesn't strike out a lot, mm. always finds a way to get on yeah. base. So who are you know some of the other offensive people? I mean, we've got... Let's see, Seth Strike, yeah. Ohio University Bobcat. Mm -hmm. He comes up with games where he's got, you know, he'll be three for four, three for five, four for five. Seth's just been a, a, a gamer so far. I mean, he's been playing really well for us. The biggest thing with him, I mean, he's been talking to me about um, just how he, he this year with Ohio University uh, got used to using wood bat during practice. So he's made that transition over to wood really easily, he says. So he's really just trying to wait on pitches, um, knock them the other way. He's been knocking balls opposite opposite field um, to left field he's been getting a lot of doubles off that yeah he is a doubles mm, machine if yeah, you get yeah. so you get you know Ryan Jones on base and Seth Strike and just bring him around yeah. Lu and Luis Poyoreno what stands out about him to you I mean the thing about Luis is he's just a catalyst he just gets things he gets things going there for the Copperheads it seems like um, you know when I've talked to him when you've talked to him he's full energy he's just he just loves playing the game and uh, he's just a real quick guy when he gets the bat on the ball I mean he hustles on the first it's always dangerous on the base pass too. Good fielder out on center fielder too. Fast guy, able to track down balls really well. So he's a guy that um, didn't didn't break in the lineup at the beginning. I think Cameron Flynn was in a, his spot. Luis has been great for us so far, and he's really uh, really a good catalyst for us out there, that leadoff spot and in center field. 